right, so here he is, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, Tom Aspinall. He has put UK on the map. And certainly Michael Bisping and Leon Edwards deserve a lot of credit, but now the UK has a heavyweight champion, and he hasn't even arrived at his fighting prime. We heard a lot about the grappling of Tom Aspinall and just how good he was in that realm. His striking is outstanding. He's got the power to go with the speed. He moves as well with the footwork as any heavyweight on the roster. And that's really the big challenge for the opposition here tonight. Power to be sure on the other side, but how are they gonna keep up with Tom Aspinall with the lateral movement, the jab, and everything else that he presents and poses on the field. A guy that's so good at that one skill that it opens everything else up. Curtis Blades is a beast in the heavyweight division. He was massively disappointed that that Francis Ngannou rematch didn't go his way, but to your point, turned around quickly, beat Justin Willis, and got right back on that path to contention. We'll see how it goes for Curtis Blades here tonight. for this heavyweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean, our referee for this one. So with Curtis Blades, he has been quick on pursuit of the takedown in past UFC appearances, but how will he approach this challenge here tonight? His striking has improved leaps and bounds since his UFC debut. He figures to be bringing a lot of different weapons to the table here tonight. Counters with a straight right hand, that'll work. is circling to his right. Clean punch. All right, early round one action here as the fighter engages in the clinch. And again, we don't know the striking discrepancy here, but you got to think the wrestler is going to pursue these situations in this match. I mean, he's now he pulls guard right into a triangle here. We see he pulled guard, and he's now attempting a triangle choke which is absolutely insane. Oh, he's out of danger! Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. How do you get out of harm's way? Right? Right. Oh, shove that knee, John. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, he's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, looks like he's got the submission locked in. He's in real trouble. Oh, my gosh. How did he get his arm? Unbelievable. He looked like he was done, but he was able to slip the arm out and stay safe. 
Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. Aspinall is right back to the full mount. Gotta be careful here. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Blades getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Oh, he's got his back. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Aspinall. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Another strike gets through from the top position. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Second round, straight ahead. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, so there's the end of the round. You know, few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a submission, and he nearly had one there. Ready, he almost had it. Ready. He had it locked in. Good. He thought the fight was over, but his opponent was able to escape but the next time, if he goes back to that position, maybe he gets a finish he wants so bad. Two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. This is beautiful. He's got a single power. Now he gets a more dominant position. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. That guillotine is tight. The guillotine looks like it's locked in. Right now, he's got to be patient. He's got to squeeze, but not too much. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Just over three minutes now to go. He's got to start throwing down. Back mount now. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Aspinall. Nice transition. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Aspinall. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Looks to me like he's got that submission close. Starting to get deep. Looks like he's going to get the finish. It looks like he's getting close to his arm triangle. All he's got to do now is isolate the arm, get his head down to the mat, and squeeze in his opponent while no choice but to tap. He's going to choke him. There it is. That's tight. Oh, he got out. He actually bridged. Got his hips up in the air, used his momentum to take him back towards his opponent's feet, chest down to the mat to get out of that deep submission attempt. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Blades. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Good work from the top here by Aspinall. And another one, another strike from the top lands for him. All right, he's got the hooks in. DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, All right that's the end of round number two. 
sit down, sit down, sit down. You gotta take this next round back, okay? I just want you to think about striking. That's it. No wrestling, no jujitsu, just striking. You can't handle it. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tit. That. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? You ready. Third round underway. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Stuffs the takedown. Oh! Oh, judo toss, made it look easy. He passes to half guard. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Blades. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Curtis Blades. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Let's go, we got a scramble here. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, big elbow. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Oh, man, another ground strike gets through. It's going to be Motrin in the morning. The swelling starting to appear. Now Blades is much safer position there being inside side control. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Blades. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Oh, how about that reversal by him there? Blades is now dealing with a cheat cut. Oh, right to the mount. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, hammer fist here by Curtis Blades. Trying to recover full guard there. He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, oh. DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm 
closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Now he's going full mount. Yep, got to be very careful there. Let's go. Oh, Let's hard go. ground and pound strike there. I believe that one opened him up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Massive shot from the top. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far, perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep, they're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Setting up for an unlock now. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tapping. It's starting to get really tight in there. Oh, he's looking for the finish now. That is great submission defense. Blades is in half guard now. Oh, he just continues to attack that cut around the eye. Gotta think his vision's compromised now. As he should, right? He sees the blood pouring into his opponent's eyes. His opponent now is squinting, trying to maintain his line of sight. He has got to continue to go at that cut right now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pack for this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Oh. Horn sounds for the end of round four. So there is the horn standing ovation from this capacity crowd. Near knockouts by both fighters. Probably the best round we've seen thus far this year. Oh, man, this is the best round of fighting that I have seen for a very long time. Why did the bell have to stop? Let's just go 10 minutes straight. Pride rules. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready? You ready? Good. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice kick. Great left hand. What a great sequence by him mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he could see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack. He passed the half guard. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Get the ball here. He's got to be careful here. He needs to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop him. He needs to try to get a take. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Aspinall. 
All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Aspinall. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Aspinall's back in full mount. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Now let's get a full pass. Let's get a full pass. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. It's getting really hard to watch him absorb shots on that eye. I wonder if the referee's thinking about calling in the doctor now. Well, well, John, the entirety of the fight, that has been the target of his opponent. He has not adjusted defensively, and now he's paying for it. Now, somebody's gonna have to save him. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Aspinall's in half court. Close guard, all oh, back and forth action right till the final horn. What a tremendous finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 48-47, 49-45, and 48-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Tom!